arriving in a new city can be daunting for anyone, but for a woman traveling on her own, there are additional concerns. The difference really between tra traveling as a man alone or traveling as a woman alone, I think the key thing in terms of the research that we've done is that women care about safety. I've been in different parts of the world from Africa to South America, so advice coming from another woman on where to travel in a city, I take it as being a bit more sound because I will have walked in her shoes, so to speak. Increasingly, women are using apps to share their recommendations and help others explore a city. Women like Monica Melton, a journalist and hair care entrepreneur who lives in Brooklyn, New York, and contributes to the free peer-to-peer -peer app, Cool Cousin. I decided to become a cool cousin because I feel like it's a great opportunity to showcase a city through a local's perspective. It takes you to places off the beaten path that a tourist or a newcomer might not see. You can just choose a city and then you are presented with a list of cool cousins, male, female, all professions, different ages, and it gives you their curated list of what to do in their city, neighborhood by neighborhood. I recommend it Butter and Scotch because they have delicious desserts and really fun, fantastic cocktails. I think my favorite is Smash the Patriarchy. Like, how cool is that? It's Butter and Scotch is also female staffed, which is like a very cool environment and atmosphere as a fellow woman, so I quite enjoy that. The first recommendation of Cool Cousins is to keep it safe, right? So we're not going to take you to known uh, kind of questionable places in the city. The messaging component in the Cool Cousin app works when a user downloads my map and they have the option to inbox me questions or comments or concerns. When you're just getting somewhere, it can be overwhelming, the choices of what to do, where to go. So if you can kind of see it through the eyes of a local, you can also see it from the perspective of a 20-something, 30-something, 40-something, wherever you find yourself at, you feel that, okay, maybe this person is a bit like me, or maybe they're not, maybe you want something different. For fine art advisor Suzanne Randolph, her past travel experiences became the spark for a new business venture. I've traveled internationally to go to art fairs, to meet with artists for different projects for clients. And um, I realized at the end of the day that I wanted to know where to eat on my own, and that was always a challenge. And I also wanted to wish at the end of the day that I had someone else to share my day with. Suzanne decided to start the Alix Experience, an elite membership organization for women. The service operates in major cities like Paris and New York and offers restaurant recommendations for women dining on their own. The criteria we use for selecting restaurants is safety is number one. We really want our restaurants to be in safe neighborhoods in a city. We also care about the warm welcome, and we also care that they are sensitive to women dining alone, so they don't sit them by the restroom or by the kitchen. Um, and we have a wonderful range of categories, such as the best friend, which is um, the restaurant that you can walk into all the time, and you know it's going to be a consistently wonderful experience. And then we have a delightfully exquisite. And um, those are restaurants that are more um, refined experiences, because sometimes you want to treat yourself to a really wonderful formal meal. But dining recommendations are just one part of the Alix experience. It also offers concierge services and exclusive events. We've done things with private tours of art collections, um, cooking classes, um, ikebana classes, lots of things where women can come together. Um, some cases when you're traveling for business you're happy to be on your own and to navigate on your own and other trips you prefer to have the chance of meeting someone else. It was this desire to connect that inspired Suzanne to develop the Alix experience into an app. The app is set up in two tiers. The first tier is where you can access our reviews for any given city that we're in. The second tier, um, women fill out an application, we vet it, and we enter them into the Alix for One community. Members can then use the app to meet other women, either in their home city or when they're traveling. And for any men who might feel a little left out, Suzanne has this to say. 
Well, you know, there are experiences where men can come to some of our activities. Um, and of course, men are always saying, what about me? And there might be an Alex at an Alex at some point, but right now we're really focusing on women. I think women know, need it more than men. Men don't think twice about a neighborhood. Men don't think twice about going in and dining on their own, but women do. And they really need to understand a city, enjoy a city more. And we think that's really possible um, through networking, through the experiences of learning, and through how to dine and where to dine in the city.